Internal mini SAS data cable connects a RAID or PCIe controller with an SFF8087 port to four discrete SATA drives. Mini SAS to SATA adapter provides reliable internal connectivity between a serial attached SCSI controller card in a computer system and direct attached storage devices with a SATA connector. Leverage hardware RAID performance with this SATA multi lane cable. Two cables can connect up to eight SATA drives to span RAID controller arrays and share performance across two PCIe 2.0 x8 lanes with compatible host bus adapters. Supports up to 6 GB's data transfer rate per drive. DIY or Pro installers both appreciate the convenience of a forward fan-out cable with an internal MSAS connector when expanding storage needs. 3-foot cable harness of SAS to SATA cable provides sufficient length for internal cable management. Slim ribbon cables minimize airflow impact in a computer case. Flexible design of SAS breakout cable includes acetate cloth tape over slim ribbon cables for strain relief to protect cables without rigidity. Woven mesh sheath covers half of the cable for easy routing. P1 to P4 markers provide easy ID after installation. Low-profile SATA connectors have easy grip treads with stainless steel latches to prevent accidental disconnection and reduce vibration disconnection. Top reviews from Umidid states. I had originally ordered a set of SAS to SATA forward breakout cables on eBay along with my order for an LSI SAS 9207 SATA, SAS HBA hard drive controller card. They were definitely cheaper on eBay, and the ones from eBay worked perfectly fine for six months until I decided to upgrade my Unraid server to an all-new Ryzen build. During the the rebuild, when disconnecting the LSI HBA card, I accidentally pulled part of the black sleeve covering the SAS connector stem area. It appeared to be cosmetic only. After firing up the new build everything booted fine and seemed stable. Data copied well and it all appeared to be great. Until I tried to validate Part E. I quickly started to experience consistent parity errors with different error counts every time I validated. It was random, though smart drive tests all passed fine. After many hours of investigation and troubleshooting, isolating drives, etc. I finally decided to just try replacing cables with these ordered from Amazon, for fast prime delivery. To my amazement Parity validated perfectly. These immediately resolved all of my stability issues, and Parity was able to be rebuilt and validated numerous times, to confirm. I had heard that the Unraid Parity process could be sensitive to cable issues, but wow after 30 plus years of building PCs I was quite surprised but am happy to have gotten a quality cable, delivered quickly.